Today I want to do a cross comparison between two of the most popular, well arguably the most popular 3D printers on the market. They're both by Bamboo Lab, the A1 Mini versus the A1. Now I could probably spend 20 minutes dissecting all of the micro like tiny little differences, but after using these printers for a minute now, I think I can answer this quite fast. And I'm going to try to preface this video from you as the consumer. So the biggest metric or comparison slash difference between the A1 Mini versus the A1 is the price point. So if we get on BambooLab.com here, the A1 Mini combo is 350. And that's US dollars. And you gotta know, pricing of these 3D printers are changing quite rapidly because the tech is changing so fast. But like I said, the A1 Mini combo with the AMS, so you could you could print multicolor prints, is 350 out the door. Or if you just want the machine itself, the A1 Mini is 199, so 200 bucks out the door. Which, in my honest opinion, the A1 Mini is probably or not probably, it is the best beginner 3d printer out there there's no questions that's my opinion now let's take a look at the a1 a1 with combo is 489 out the door so it's a little over a hundred dollars extra or you can get just the regular bare bones a1 single color print machine for 339 out the door so if the amount of money you're looking to spend is kind of tight the a1 mini is a cheaper option. The next biggest difference between the A1 Mini versus the A1 is how big the machine is. So the A1 Mini is obviously going to be smaller. It's called the Mini, right? If we take a look at the build volume, it's 180 by 180 by 180 millimeters. That's essentially the size of the build plate that you can put 3D prints on. So you are a tad bit limited, but the question is, are you looking to print larger items? like helmets or decorations. And if we take a look at the A1, it's 256 by 256 by 256 millimeters. So that's a substantial amount difference, right? So let's recap this. The A1 Mini is a little bit cheaper, but it also has a much smaller build volume meaning you're not gonna be able to print as large of items. Those are the two biggest metrics when it comes to these comparing these two 3D printers. Honestly, they're almost identical machines. And what has actually happened here, the A1 Mini came out first and was like the leader in the beginner 3D print space. Like anyone that was a beginner, you just told them, get an A1 Mini, get an A1 Mini. Like it was the easiest choice. It was a great, like an entry level 3D printer. It was perfect. But a lot of the feedback from consumers was I want this same printer with more build volume because I want to be able to print bigger things. So they fixed a couple different things and they came out with the A1. It's essentially an A1 Mini but on steroids and they kind of fixed a lot of the quirks and some of the small little errors that the A1 Mini had. So it's a much stronger machine. It has a bigger build volume. It does exactly the same thing as the A1 Mini because it's arguably the same machine, just a little bit bigger. Now there are other parameters that are a little bit different. Like the bed heats up a little faster. I think the nozzle, it prints a little fat, like it prints a little bit faster, but it's just, it's, it's newer and bigger tech and it's a little bit more expensive. So that's all to be expected. But like if you're a beginner 3D print enthusiast, the differences are negligible, honestly, because I have both machines and they're just negligible. What has happened though a couple times is people ask me what 3D printer should I get as my first printer? And I tell them, go and get the A1 Mini. But what happens is a lot of times people get super addicted to this amazing hobby and they're like, hey man, you should have let me got, you should have told me to get the A1. And I'm like, hey, pricing was a big deal for you when you were at entry level. But now that you're obsessed with 3D printing, you're ready, you're readily available to spend that extra money. So wrapping this up, if you want my honest opinion on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini versus the A1, I think that you should spend that little bit extra money and get yourself the A1. They spent years quirking out the technology of the A1 Mini. They added an extra arm. It prints a little faster. It's a bigger build volume. It's just a little, it's just a better machine, if we're being honest. But if pricing is really, really tight and you're really excited about getting in to 3D printing, the AWOD Mini is also a great choice. I have one and it, like, it, it is blowing my mind away every other day. And if you guys want more information from Bamboo Lab on these printers, I'll throw links in the description. By the way, if you're looking to buy Bamboo Lab printers, you can only get them two places right now. It's 
kind of weird to be honest with you. You gotta buy them from BambooLab.com, their website, or a micro center near you. It's a little weird because you can buy Creality and all the other brands on Amazon, but you can't get Bamboo Lab on there, even though they're they're arguably one of the best 3D print manufacturers right now, allegedly. So hit me up in the comments. What 3D printer are you thinking about? Are you leaning on the A1 Mini because you're looking for cost to save a little bit money? Or are you just gonna go all in on the A1 and just know you're gonna be obsessed with 3D printing? Guys, the the things you can print with multicolor printing is like next level. Like I, it's so much fun. This is my favorite hobby I've had in such a long time. I am thoroughly obsessed. I cannot get enough of this. The tech with building things, it all mixes together and just this, this custom creative effect. I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. What's your favorite thing on 3D printing right now? It's such a fun hobby. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.